Grace, the Be Daddy God, Granddaddy Frost. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing live, I'm probably going to be doing some talking to kind of like show you where, where I'm at. Um, I, I really don't feel like doing a beat, but uh, that's when you do beats, when you, when you don't feel like doing them. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this drum pattern that I played and I'm going to show you some skills on the, on, the, on the 3000 and any other MPC you got when you chop. So I got the chops in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue chopping. So I got this so far. <laughs> show you a technique when I chop. When I take this chop, right? Let me go ahead, let me go ahead and set my filters on this real quick. Let me get my filters set up. Let me show you something real quick. Um, three, right? Let me set all my filters real quick. chop. I want to find the beginning of that, the start point. So what you do is you go and hit, you go into your programs and you go into your, um, your tuning. So you tune it all the way down. Like I think I got a good chop, but if you tune it all the way down, turn it all the way down, now it's going to be slow. Now listen to the air in the beginning. You hear that? You hear that air? So what you do is... So what you do is you, um, you got to come back and set that back to your, your, uh, your tuning pitch that you, that you like. So I'm going to go into edit now. I'm going to edit this sample. And I'm going to edit the beginning. And it get, it brings me tighter. Like I'm a little off, but I want it to be tight. So watch when I hit the key now. I'm going to start tuning my, my start point. same for the rest of them but I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my endpoints on these so but you got to go back into your and your to your tuning part 
and you gotta turn it back to where you want where you want to tune at at the high pitch, right? So I'm gonna tune it back. Now I'm just going to add some decay on the end of this. You want the decay to make a smooth transition because I'm using I'm using um, mono. I'm not using note off. All right, so that's good. So now this one. I don't know how these chops gonna fit in my beat, but I'm gonna fuck with them. All right. So I got, I'm going to go into my program, my tuning, and I'm going to tune it all the way down. I think I got a good beginning, but watch when you tune it all the way down. When you tune it all the way down, you get to hear the beginning. Now watch the air. And there's no wave. I gotta play it by ear. I like the ear versus the wave. Look at the wave, right? All right, so I got that one good. I got like four more to go. You gotta go back into your tuning and set it back. Set it back to the natural with the pitch you wanted it at. But I take it all the way down. And now I'm gonna decay this. That I did the other one, which was eight four one. So that's a cool. And then I'm gonna keep moving on. I just keep moving up. So I'm not gonna really talk. I'm just gonna get into it. And I'm gonna do it. But that's how you get a tight beginning. So let me go ahead and do the rest of these real quick. time so I can hear my end point. So I'm going to take that end point. I don't want that on the end. So I'm going to take that and um, edit that real quick, that end point. Put 
delay on the end of that. Which is eight eight four one is my number, my go to. And then I'm gonna go to the next one. Tune that down to the lowest, which is two forty, negative two forty. Yeah, yeah. tuning and I'm gonna turn it back natural to the pitch I like. Alright? That's like a little short little staff, so I'm gonna I'm only gonna do that half of um, 841. So I'm gonna make it um 820. I mean 420. 420 gonna be my end. My decay out. chops right because when I play with the beat kick and snare I know when to cut it it cuts off instead of me holding the pad down to Okay, this is what it sounds like. You hear that? You want you want to fade the end. I think it's a fade out. Right. 
Sometimes when you do the low, when you turn it all the way down, you find shit that that sounds better to you, and you use that. See, that sounds dope as fuck, right? So I might, see, don't get carried away. Stick to the script, though. So we're going to go back into the tuning, and we're going to turn it back all the way up. You just going to hit one, enter. <laughs> sample seek frequency and edit that at the beginning you hear that air in the beginning you just start turning to the, the, uh, the natural toning. <laughs> takes off that little bitter, that little hit in the beginning.
I gotta listen to them. So my decay, my attack is 85 on this one. I'm gonna set them all where they don't hit hard because I need them drums to to take up that space. <laughs> Copy this sequence another time. So we got seven and eight, and that'll be two different patterns. So I always copy two up. So I'm gonna copy this. Alright. So now I'm two up. So I got this pattern here. So this one. I'm gonna go ahead and get me a count off. Alright. Set my start point, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in. Metrodome. I don't even know how to turn the click off. Let me see. Click record in play. Record only, I think that's it. My um my clip shouldn't be that fast, so I'm gonna slow it down.
sequence, which is blank. I mean, uh, just the drum. And I'm going to copy this one again. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this to nine. And now I'm always all going to be up one. So now we're going to do it what we did that first pattern. We'll go. Between the first one, I just listen to the transition, how they transition. I could turn the clip off. <laughs> stay one up because it's going to keep me grooving right so now we got nine and we're going to do something with nine so we're going to we're not going to use the other chops we're going to keep these same two chops we're going to fuck with something <laughs>
because I listen to these, listen to these se free sequences that I just created, and I listen to find out what's my flow. Kind of like this one right here with the pause in there. <laughs> y'all bang this out any MCs in here any other producer just listen to the flow man and um um uh, one more quick thing on the 3000 on the MPC 3000 when you you notice like when you go from sequence 5 and you can only go up to 6 or you only can go down to 4 in order to go from sequence 6 to 9 you got to hit the hit, hit, hit the key, hit the notepad, and hit enter. And that'll take you to the next sequence. That's the only way you can do that. I just figured that out the, uh, yesterday. All right? Here we go. I'll be right back, y'all. And, and don't be afraid to leave some comments, man. You know, I need, I need, I need, I need feedback. You know, let me know if my sound is all right. It's playing out in the room. There's nothing else. No rig hooked up or nothing. Playing straight out in the room. Let me know. Give me some feedback. All right. Peace, y'all.
so many chops because it takes away from the groove with the drums so I try to keep it in the pocket so now I'm going to go to these two next two chops <laughs> and I'm going to copy this see because remember I always got to be one up so I'm going to copy this and um, I'm going to copy that now I got it. now I can just with these these two chops maybe it's maybe these, these this one and maybe come back to that one so I'm gonna mess around I don't know what I'm gonna play it's gotta feel me. simple them two chops I'm basically playing the same as I did the previous sequences but I'm using different chops so let's record that mixing as I go I'm ducking I'm ducking I'm, I'm, I'm I duck my my chops underneath that kick I duck it like a bass like a uh, side compression you're ducking it so I duck them samples so they won't hit on that 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 first note so I, I add five five to ten or 15 20 attack on the beginning so now we got to see how nine well, how? Let's see how nine and ten tra uh, uh, transition together. Turn off the click. <laughs> Back to 
that's cool, right? So now we're going to go ahead and copy 11. Let's stay one up. I hope I'm making sense when I'm when I'm when I'm talking. It's transitioning, like transition words, like English. It's a language. It's a conversation. Um, seven. Copy that. Get through it. Come back to eleven. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna take them same chops instead of pause, and we're just gonna go right into it. transition. Keep moving. I, I, I think y'all get what I'm doing, right? So we got. I'm gonna copy this again, all right? And then I'm almost done. So now I got. I got uh. I got these two more chops. So I'm going two, two, and two. So I'm gonna do these. <laughs> this time I'm gonna change it up. I'm a, instead of going one and two with the, the lat, I got these two, these two. Th instead of going one and two, three and four, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go six, five instead of five, six. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see how that works. <laughs> Not, we know it's not going to work. 
works, so let's try the four. <laughs> This is a separate track, though. This time, I'm going to set this to 16 levels. And I'm going to set this to be a um, filter. On the 3000, you can filter it. So let's filter it. I'm 
gonna freak this because I want this to be a different change up the drums. <laughs>
right there. It's not triplets. Set the quantiles again. I'm going to set it to 16. Swing it. I'm gonna see what a 30 second note sound like. So, so this is where it gets tricky at. I'm going to come out of 16 levels. And I'm going to go into 16 level velocity, not filter. I'm going to try that. Turn that on. Alright, but then I got to go back to my timing. So I'm going to turn my timing back to... Got the 
five. So that's cool, right? I'm, I'm basically done. Let me see how this 12 transition. <laughs> Just to kind of give y'all the way I work, the way I do things. I'm not telling you to copy what I do. Just add on what I do. Add your own twist. And hopefully what I'm enlightening you on, you become better beat makers. You become better producers. Peace. The beat out of God, Granddaddy Frost. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the beat. And let me know what you think about the tutorial, all right? Peace, man. Love y'all, man. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Elevation Productions, Productions with the Z. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Help a brother out, man. Peace.